All right, guys, welcome back to Legend of Grimrock. Uh, Pat was being a meanie and he's yelling at a secret I missed uh, in an earlier episode, so uh, we're just gonna go ahead back there real quick. It will not take long. Uh, so we're going this way, I think. Yes, we are. So remember that uh, nice pirate ship that we saw earlier while they strafe through everything? Been really lazy. Yeah, there was, um, I, I think I looked at it and I thought of, uh, something there. Uh, just go right past the turtles. Just ignore the turtles, guys. Don't, don't do anything with the turtles. Ever. Alright, right over here. Apparently I'm a bad boy and I, I should have totally put on, uh, this thing. Yep. That's, that's the problem. We got it now, though. And that would be the golden key that we were, uh, we sought after so, uh, so valiantly. It's not my fault, guys. Uh, I don't, I think this turtle is gonna give us business. Alright, that turtle has been shown as the boss. We got, we got some turtle steak out of it. And that was a turtle trailing over here. So that would explain a lot of things like what this door means. And we get a potion of strength, which definitely goes to Jack. That's not even a question. Uh, more strength equals more damage for him. And we also get a backbiter uh, dagger, which is uh, better than what we have here. So this probably would have helped uh, a lot before. Succe successful hit drains life from target and heals you. How much uh, energy does Pat have? So Pat can do two of these special attacks. Uh, mind you, I can also give him the dex item here. Uh, he has a lot of attack power that look at that. Look, look at that. He's really good with daggers and that would actually be probably one of the best options for him because uh If you look at this um, I mean he gets an accuracy bonus, but the cooldown is much lower on the daggers. So uh, you know He's gonna be just a dagger wielding poop head. That's that's pretty much my plan with him I mean with light weapons uh, you can do wield any light weapons um when dual wielding, you have a, you suffer a forty percent penalty to weapon damage. Interesting. All right. Well, I think we're back here, so uh, let's let's get this show on the road, shall we? Uh, well, nothing over here. Clearly, nothing will ever be there, ever. I'm so glad that I I eventually came to my senses and actually gave Jack a real weapon. All right, this guy's locked, so he's one of our many uh. A tribal plate. Okay. We also got a torch. Torches I don't need. Um, he's already got armor here, but this one gives him energy too. If I give him this energy one, I think he'll be able to use the skull bash thing. No, he won't. Uh, but at some point, he probably will. Uh, this this may actually go to Pat instead. For the time being, I'm just going to keep my stash there. Uh, I noticed a couple of people in the comments were yelling at me because I wasn't, uh, th there was those boxes I threw down and people were wondering why I wasn't sorting inventory with crates. Like, I have a lot of these bags. The bags actually weigh, like, okay, crates and bags weigh something. Uh, so I really don't have inventory problems right now. Like, I'm, I'm pretty much picking up everything I have and some things I don't even need to have. Like this rapier, for example, or this branch. Let's just throw that on the ground. We're never gonna use it again. Uh, so like the the you know like this travel mask I want to use this eventually so I'm taking it with me But like as I said, I don't have an inventory problem, and I doubt I will in any time soon, so Let's just uh, have faith in Mike's decision-making uh, Which is probably a big error. Oh, hi um, This is Castle Grayskull North Sleet Island West Twigwood Forest that would be that way and south is Calreach Bog, and where did that guy go? I don't like it when. Oh, there. Okay, there's some flying guys right here. All right, so we have a bit of an option here. So up there is a uh, Sleet Island, dude. That sounds like an amazing place. Uh, let's get the gun back out.
and closes his inventory. Wow. Wow, we are not we are not good here. Okay, so th they can die, which is a good which is a good thing. I, I do want to equip Canned with something better. I, I hope that the, the firearms will scale better. I, I want to make someone do firearms though. Come here. Okay. Canned is terrible at accuracy. I just want him to die over here just because I don't know. And I think I'm still used to the other legend. Uh, wait, I just went to the water! What the fuck? Oh, cool. Um. Appar apparently, we can just go underwater. I wasn't expecting that, actually. And we're dying. We are so fucked. We cannot use any of our weapons underwater here. Uh... I will not lie, didn't think I would be able to do this. Oh, we have a... We have a... We're dead. Okay. I think we're gone. <laughs> oh no, there's a ladder there! Jack Witch will take us there? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, that was Jack's fault. <laughs> I was totally out of the water by that point. I actually kind of want to take a look at uh, what he actually does. And he flies off the map. Interesting. Alright, uh, okay, I'm back in the same place. Um, do take note of the ladders. I had no idea how I would actually get back up. I, I killed about the same amount of... Uh, these flying dudes as last time. Uh, yeah, so the ladders is how you're supposed to, you're intended to get back up, so that's just uh, something I know. And uh, you want to see, uh, well, actually, there's no point in me showing you Pat's swag attack. So, uh, there's been also some other suggestions in the comments for stuff. Uh, uh, just give me a second. Uh, well, basically, um, some people were asking if, if Pat and, and Pat, uh, sorry, if Pat and Jack get kind of close to dying, uh, shouldn't I just swap them out for someone in the back, kind of like this? Ooh. Uh, that's a possibility. Just note that, um, well, Mike Lott, the human wizard, has 82 health, and Pat, sorry, uh, Kanda's, uh, uh, 98, uh, health, and while Jack and Pat only have a little bit more health, they also have all the best defensive gear. So, while I could put myself in the front in in case of emergencies, or canned in the front in case of emergencies, it's still not a terribly great idea. Um, with a keen eye and sharp aim, they entered. Huh. I have neither of those. No, just kidding. Keen eye and sharp aim. Uh, I, I, it implies that I have to throw it somewhere. Uh, I'm wondering where, though. Okay. It has to be somewhere really close. Let's try and throw a rock. What happens if we do this? Uh, okay, so that, that's not the solution. How about, how about against the... Oh, actually, wait. Nope. Okay, it doesn't really like that. So, Kan has the ability to throw things really far. So, we have to have a sharp eye. For some reason. Alright, this is impossible, right here. Which is kind of weird, because, you know, we can, we can totally slip by those trees. Alright, I'll come back to this one. Uh, let me just no mark it down for later. Uh, I'll just put a question mark there, actually. So, whenever I have a question mark on my map, it means, uh... Oh, never mind. Keen eye. Alright, we can just remove that one. <laughs> I knew it would be something like that. I, I didn't quite know what. So we can actually grab our item back. Guess we might as well. Uh, I can, we can put something else down on top of it. Like, uh... Yeah, we already have that one. 
And this one says, Shrine of Entanglement. Alright, that sounds... Huh. It's behind a glowy wall. Okay, well hitting the wall has done nothing. Oh! There are four sides to everything. So, I guess it's on the opposite side. That is my assumption. Clicking here doesn't really do much. Okay, we have a puzzle here. Okay, so what it happens is every time I push one of these buttons, uh, everything around it inverses, so... Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay, great puzzle. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm just amazing. No, I don't know. Uh, okay, we got some new boots here. And... Pet. You can have the last pair of shoes. Huh. Okay. Okay, apparently I'm not amazing, because this is gonna send me back over here. Solution is not that simple. The problem is, is this has to be inverted. Yeah, because the, basically the projectiles had to hit there and the gates were blocking it. Uh, except I didn't do it for very long. Oh, wait. Okay, we did it. I, I, don't, I don't understand why there was two portals there, to be honest. It was some kind of check for something. Right, well, here we have ruins. Of some sort. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's actually some something over here. So neat. All right, we have a, a sword here. Uh, this is a long sword, actually. Uh, it's a strength-based weapon, so we probably will not be using it. We also have another scroll here. Air spell. Invisibility. Ah, oh, here we go. So there is some invisible. Uh, which is interesting. It's an invisibility thing. Uh, there are some stealth mechanics to this game. That kind of a thing would really help, but, uh... Uh... Well, I, I have no need for that. Now, I'm actually doing more damage with, uh... Well, I, I can't even use this because it requires light weapons. One. So, it would only be Pat that would use that, and I don't think, uh... Actually, I think get rid of the stick because I got rid of it last up, well, earlier this episode. Um... My least damage thing is this one. Well, it, it actually does do more damage. I'll give it that. Uh, at the cost of what? Thrust. High accuracy. And cooldown. 3.5, well this has 2.7. Yeah, you know what, the, these cooldowns are more in sync. I'll keep the weapon on me just in case. So Pat's getting really uh, slowed down because of the amount of weapons he's carrying. So I'm gonna just uh, take put some of them on, uh, on uh, Canned over there. Oh, hello. You guys are ugly. I'm just, I'm just gonna eat this just because I feel like it. How's everyone doing for, uh... Okay, you can use a bit of, a uh, Food. And so can you. And probably me too. Can never have enough turtle steak. Uh-oh, I think we get our, a really good item here. Welcome to what this is. This is a skull. Now, I, I, I just want to let you know, like, like, okay, it doesn't seem like it does very much, but notice how it raises all the damage by one. When I put this on, you can see the damage, like, down here. It raises all the damage by one. And that's what it does. Uh, remember, he has the perk Headhunter. Uh, this goes to Canned. He's got the perk of, uh, where is it? Yeah, here you go. Plus one strength for each, uh, skull carried. Increases my carrying capacity and damage I do with melee weapons. So, our plan for him is to carry as many uh, uh, skulls as we possibly can. Uh, so we got our first skull, and it certainly won't be the last. So that's just the, that's just one of his traits. We're investing for the long run. And we also have some arrows here. I don't know if I'm going to switch over can to melee weapons, so I'll carry it around for now. And we'll also click this healing crystal. Just because I like clicking them. Yeah, 
and we have her level up. Oh wow, okay. Uh, here, let, let me show you our swag new ability. Wow. You really didn't do much with that, did you? Out of energy, okay. Oh, I see how it is. I'm sure you'll get your health back eventually. If not, that is a healing crystal real close by. All right, Jack, what'd you get today? You can get, I can get you some armor. I wouldn't be against that. Uh, yeah, let's get him to heavy armor, shall we? Because we, we already am carrying around some heavy armor around here, I think. Yeah, here we go, this ancient helm. So it's a good idea if we rush it, because as I said, he's one of my tankier characters. And I'm not gonna go here quite yet. Okay. Where does this lead us? I'm just kind of, I'm getting my bearings, guys. Okay, we don't know what's over there. Does that invert? No. Okay. Well, I guess we can kind of look this way first. As I said, I'd rather look at this area first. Uh, well, I didn't say that yet, but now I, now I am. The cache. Oh, that seems like a place I'd want to go. Oh, fuck, there's the pirate. Oh, hey. He's got a gun! That's a fucking adorable! Just as useless as my guns, apparently. We'll be- we'll go back up and heal in a minute. Okay, we can go back one more spe step. Oh yeah, you running boy? He's not really a boy, I don't know why I'm taunting him like this. Ow. Got up in all that dodge that you don't have, because I didn't invest into it for you. Okay, I don't know what this is, but... I think we're running away now. Oh, you have a key of some- Oh, what the- what the fuck? Oh my god, that's fucking creepy. I'm going out of here. Um, we can actually walk over those and it's okay with that. Cause Pat's about to die again, as usual. Uh, what's, uh, what's Kan gonna do? Let's see. Let's get him to do some more alchemy, shall we? Oh, I also left a little bit of meat here. Alright, we got that. Need to clean up uh, his inventory here a little bit. Probably, you know what? That sack's gonna go to me. I, I, there's a sack full of food. I'm, I'm now having a bit of an issue with not with inventory space, but more like inventory weight. Believe it or not, is our issue. I mean, I can make, I can force Jack to be the person who carries all that stuff. Oh, okay, that was easier than I thought it would be. All right, we got a throwing knife. Probably don't need any more of those, but. Because these are, these are strength uh, based. Snake Charmer's Cache. Okay. We have a key here. Here we go. So this is uh, Resist Poison. Uh, it's a bracer that gives Resist Poison and Protection. So we'll just put that on. We also have a rope. Long and sturdy rope is the best ally of all daring spelunkers. Okay. We also have a... Uh, Poison shield. Uh, we'll give that to myself. I don't think I'm going to be going into earth magic, but who the hell knows? Thief's cash. Okay. I think I I think I had an option here, and I did not cap capital uh, capitalize upon that. I actually might reload it. I think I will, cause I, I think I only get an option of one. Cause only one key dropped. You don't get to reuse keys, so let's reload that and make a better uh, judgment call on that. I kind of just opened the first one I saw. So, I, I'm guessing they all have some sort of purpose. Um, I'm not sure what the rope does, uh, but it looked like I could maybe repel myself down. By the way, I get autosaves in, in case like this. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did last time. 
Now, I I'm wondering what, if this is really like the only key I get, I wonder what prevents me from just coming back here and just totally screwing myself over. All right, well, those were easy to take care of. All right. Um, like, I, I can get that same kind of key from somewhere else. Okay, so Cease Cache has, uh, it has a potion, arrows, and a bow. I'm not a bow person. Uh, this would be the Paladin's Cache. This has a sword, it would appear. And that would be it, actually. Unless there's something, yeah, there's a potion behind there. Or, alternatively, this is a, a con Conjurer's Cache. I'm gonna do a quick save here, and we're gonna open this one up. And we have a crystal ball. Light, special attack. Oh. We already know how to do light. This gives me energy plus 15. So that's 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 actually nice. Uh, so this this ball I was using before is kind of pointless for that. Like I I was fairly sure it won't do anything. We got an energy potion of it, which, which is kind of nice. And we also get um, pants of protection and willpower and resist all. Okay, yeah, no, I'm taking this one. Because making my mage even more powerful is actually a pretty good deal for me. It makes me kind of upset though that um that I can't get any things like because this one looked actually kind of nice too. Maybe to get the shield there, but I'm sure we'll well we won't get come back here. I think this is the only time we're gonna be here. But I I am I am picking the mage stuff. So tr snake charmers one is not what I want. Although that one gives me a uh, resist poison, but I, I I guess you can kind of cheat and just save and load, unless you're doing like Iron Man. Okay, I think that's it. I can't really do much more there. I I honestly I want to invest into the mage a whole lot because I like mages. Even though I was kind of like before, I was like, uh, they kind of drop off later. Who cares? They're he's powerful now. That's the point. All right, this is um definitely one of the bigger places that we can go right now. Hey look, there's that force field thing. I can use that spell. Do you see how damn powerful he is? Where I am? It's me. So, I am the best. Honestly, honestly, I, I, I kind of... I, I, I kind of worked him out in my head that he would basically be um, a l later on more useful because he'd have a, access to a lot of uh, abilities and I just gave gloves. Because that's what I did the whole fast learner thing for. That was my plan. But he's really powerful now, which is really weird. I, I actually didn't really see that coming. Um, let's see, the hub. Oh, we'll go there very soon. Okay, we got a key here. What the fuck is that? We've got some kind of- oh, hi. Pat, can you not- can you just, like, not die? Where's this guy? Pat has trouble listening to simple instructions. Uh, well, how much energy does he have? Okay. So he's he oh he's got life leech. I fucking love that. That this dagger that secondary ability is amazing. Okay. You will not drop the key for me. Uh, I wonder if I should touch that right now. We'll get it on the way out. Oh, so this just leads back to here. This looks like a heavy weapon. I, I'm pretty sure he can only really use one of these. I'm gonna have to weigh them myself, just in a second. Gun is useless. Alright, whatever. Killed him over the water. Alright, so, uh, let's see. The mace is, ignores five points of enemy armor. Uh, it's got a cooldown on it. I also have a stun attack with it, but I don't, he never has enough energy. That's the biggest problem. 
Uh, if I gave him something like this, then it, or I had a, I had a, I thought I had a piece of equipment that gave energy. Oh yeah, this one. Let's give him more energy. Look at that. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty good. All right. So we can now do a stun attack with uh, the Witchel. So that that should be kind of nice. I'm also hearing a, a, a very faint noise. Alright. Now, what about this guy? Let's have a look around. Yeah, let's go to the hub. Hopefully I didn't, like, see it on the ground anywhere. But, you know, for something like that, I don't think it, the solution would be as simple as it's just something on the ground somewhere. So let's go to the hub now. Oh, man. Look at the tile set on this guy. Alright. Uh, okay, this door will not will not open, so I'm gonna save it here because this might actually close after we go in. Cemetery. Okay. Calreach blog. Oh, this is like a teleport thing, I think. Shipwreck beach. Hey, cool. So we could just come back here at any point. So that's what the hub does. Wow, okay, this literally serves no other purpose. I, I'm not sure how I activate these, I'm just assuming that I activate them through some other means. Uh, okay, that's interesting then. So, yeah, there's no point in us being there. It's just, a, it's just a teleport thing to go back to previous areas. I'm assuming we'll find uh, some clues to maybe some dig treasure or something. I'm wondering if I should really be looking at the walls here. Okay. The answer is probably not. Uh, let's have a look here. Okay. Well, there could also be some things underwater. So, I'm kind of inclined to try my luck underwater and see where it goes. Although we haven't been here yet, so let's do that first. Oh, we got a guan on a stick. Uh, also, there's that funky noise that we heard last episode, and I'm like, I don't know what that means. The Shrine of Pain. Okay. Oh, we also have that thing there. Oh boy. Do you guys like timed puzzles? I sure do, that's why I'm quick saving. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Ow. Okay. I gotta go over there for some reason. The okay, Shriner Pain wasn't as painful as I thought it would be. I did get hit once. Oh, I'm sorry. I ho I'm hopeful that my little trap only broke a few bones and you're still able to proceed on your heroic journey. What a fucking asshole. If I find the island venture, I'm totally gonna kick his ass. So as you can see, it, um, that was an AoE attack, the, uh, what I got hit by there, because, um, the people in the back got hurt, like, my mage got hurt there. And, yeah, that was another AoE attack. So, you can see, like, I'm getting hit there. Okay, he's dead. Now, I could probably just rest and just bring my health up back up to full. I'm kind of up for that. Okay. Well, that opens that up. This goes somewhere totally different. I really don't like this. This guy... Is he, is he the person who's been leaving the notes for me? Uh... Okay. Island map. Okay. Please find the attached map of... A map of the island useful. I'd like to point out a few key locations to get you custom to your new home, although I'm afraid your stay on the island will be brief. My pets are awfully hungry, as always. If you glance north, you will see the Great Pyramid of Lama uh, Yumas. Okay, I thought it was Lamas. Above the treetops. In the west, you can find the ruins of D 
Dazarune, a large dungeon I have repurposed just for you. Uh, also, this is the island adventure. Uh, beyond Dazarune are even older places, but you don't need to concern yourself with them because the challenges are hard will be way over your head. Finally, in the east, you will find the burial grounds where you'll find some very interesting characters are buried. It's up to you to decide which of the locations will be your grave. Okay, this is uh, I, I've G Jalit Island, the Temple of Okay. Well, this is a totally new place we haven't been to. Uh, we haven't been down there either. We haven't been inside here because there's a whole place we can go. There's a whole lot to explore here in this game, and we will explore it next time because I'm gonna call it here. So take care, everyone. Bye.